Now, question number one, again, it's evaluating a number with an index in which it's got a fraction in it. So, what we do here is you need to remember things such as if I went 4 to the power of a half, that's the exact same as the square root of 4. Okay, same with 4 to the power of a third is a cube root. So what we can do is we can rewrite this, we can rewrite this, this is a covenant of, we can look at it as being a, a half, and then we can look at it as cubing it. Okay, so think of this as being the root, and th think of that as being the power. So if we have a wee look at 9 to the power of a half, that's a square, that's the same as the square root of, Nine, and then we cube it. So the square root of nine is three. Three times three is nine, and we then cube that. And might as well use this we calculator while it's here. So if I go three cubed, that's twenty-seven. Okay. So your answer here should be twenty-seven. So just look at the number underneath. Work it out. Just take it as being a 1 just now, so work that out and then look at what the power is and then once you've got the answer to what the the root of this uh, question and then just power it and then that's you got your answer. So we then go on to question 2 and it's uh, one of these changes subject to the formula. So the first thing I would do, I'll just, that, I'll just re re rewrite this out. So I'll go P equals mv squared over 2. So what I'm going to do here is I'll, I want it into v, so I'm going to times both sides by 2. Okay. What will happen then is you'll end up with 2p equals mv squared. Now we've got the v here, but it's been times by m, so what we then have to do is divide both sides by m. And what will then that will then give us two p divided by m equals v squared. Now what you can do, and I could have probably done this further up. I'm going to just rewrite this out so it's v squared equals two p over m. So it's always good to have the subject on the left hand side, and this is known as a rule. So the last thing I need to do in order for it just to be v, I need to take the square root of both sides. So I end up with v equals, and that's the square root of 2p divided by m. And that is the answer uh, to that question. And then go on to your next one. And it's changed the subject to a. Okay, so what we've got is we've got s equals ut plus a half a t squared. So I'm just going to rewrite this out, okay, so it's the other way, ut plus a half at squared equals s. So the first thing you do, you always take care of anything that's been added or subtracted from the letter that you're after. So I'm going to subtract, subtract ut from this side, so I'm going to have to do it from this side. So to keep it equal, you have to do whatever you do in one side to another, so that is going to be a half a t squared equals s minus u t. Now it's been times by a half and it's been times by t squared, so we'll deal with a half first of all. So to do that, you just do the opposite, it's been divided by a half, so you do the opposite, which is times by 2. Right, so I'm going to go times that by 2, then I'm going to go times that by 2. So a half times 2 is just going to be 1, so we're going to be left with a t squared, and that's now going to be, we'll just put it in a bracket, 2 s minus u t, okay, and what we're now going to have to do, so let's just take a fair bit of time, we're going to divide this by t squared. So I then go, I'll move this up here. So what we've 
got is we've got a equals 2s minus u over t squared. Now, your next wee question is to do with a system of equations, so that's simultaneous equations. So what we'll do, I'm just going to number that one, one, that one two, right? So we look at one of these letters from both sides and we have to try and get rid of them, okay? So what we're going to, what I might do is try and get rid of the x's first. So I'm going to times this equation by 2 and then times this equation by 3. So what will actually end up happening is we'll have another two equations. Equation 3 will be 6x plus 4y, 2 times 17, that's going to be 34. Next equation is going to be equation 4, that's 6x plus 15y equals 12. Now what we want to do is try and get rid of the x's. So I'm going to actually take equation 4 away from equation 3. Or sorry, 3 away from 4. Okay, so 6 minus 6 is 0. 15y subtract 11y. That's going to leave us with... leave us with 11y. So 15y subtract 4y leaves us with 11y. 12y subtract 34. So that's 12 subtract 34. Just to make sure I'm not making any daft wee mistakes. That's going to be minus 22. So what we then do is we'll divide both sides by 11. That gives us y equals minus 2. So we've sol solved it for y, we just need to solve it for x. So I'm just going to take equation 2 and then I'm going to say 2x plus 5 minus 2, that's going to equal 4. Okay, so 2x, 5 times minus 2 is minus 10, so 2x minus 10 equals 4. So, to get rid of this minus 10, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'll do it in red, I'm going to add 10 to this side, I'm going to then add 10 to that side, so we end up with 2x equals 14, divide by 7, or divide by 2, divide by 2, and that gives me x equals 7. And you should be able to substitute this in. So if I went 2 times x, but so 2 times x is 7, so that's 14 minus 5 times minus 2 is 10. So 14 minus 10 is 4, and you can try it for the equation above. But that's your starter task for tomorrow.